Alright, so today we're doing part two of finishing the GS500 Dune Buggy project. Now in this video what we're going to be doing is finishing the engine, getting it running, hooking up all the wiring, adding some lights, and possibly going for a test drive. So here's the part of the video where I explain to you what I believe is the problem with this engine. Now in case you guys are wondering why this thing looks done, it's because I had filmed this before and I don't know where that footage went, I don't know if I deleted it, or it's just, it's gone. I can't find it so therefore I'm having to refilm this after the project is done. So the reason I put new valves and uh, or, uh, new pistons and new piston rings and all new seals is because I believe the reason this engine runs like crap and dies after running for more than five minutes is the compression with this engine is incredibly bad. It is, I believe, I, I haven't looked, I, I believe it's 90 PSI, which is incredibly bad for this engine. That is why I believe that the engine will not want to run for more than five minutes, why it sputters in the higher RPMs and why it just idles really weird. So, you know, I'm I'm hoping that replacing the pistons, replacing the piston rings with used pistons, piston rings, it, you know, it, I know it's used, I probably should buy brand new stuff, but I don't want to. The used ones are probably way better than the ones that are in here now, so that's, you know, plus they're a, a lot cheaper. So I did buy brand new seals for this thing, so that's, you know, I'm hoping that this is going to make it to where it has a lot better compression and just get this thing running a whole lot better. So uh, yeah, anyway, back to the original video. So I just finished uh, putting the engine back together and reinstalling the, you know, putting the frame back together and hooking up the mufflers now. I was going to start uh, focusing on the wiring, but before I do that, let's first fix the brakes. Now, for some reason, the brakes on here, they're kind of temperamental. They don't really work 100% of the time, and, you know, sometimes when you go to hit the brakes, there's like nothing there, and the brake pedal just goes to the floor, which actually caused this. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that was brake failure. A little bit of driver error, but mostly brake failure. So, that is why I am replacing all the brakes on here. Now, um, now my friend gave me this setup. He gave me a, uh, a 1983 Kawasaki KZ750 motorcycle engine to hopefully fix and you know get it running but unfortunately it's missing too many parts and I can't get it right I can't find the parts that's missing it's missing the entire top end of valves valve springs and all that kind of stuff and I can't find new ones without buying another engine like that for 500 bucks which I really don't want to do so anyway he gave me uh, that engine and also this uh, front brake setup from the bike this is a uh, you know two uh, calipers and a, I believe this is called a master cylinder and whatever this part is in the middle. We're going to be taking one of these calipers, putting this, putting it on 
the dune buggy just because this has brand new brake pads we're also replacing the old master cylinder and the old brake line with brand new brake line and a new master cylinder from go power sports so hopefully this new stuff semi new stuff um will get the brakes working properly this time so nothing like that will happen again so yeah let's install this new stuff and then focus on the wiring So I wasn't really sure if I was going to like this. I had the idea while I was searching in uh, Amazon for LED taillights. I, I found these and I found this cheap uh, truck taillight uh, LED strip. So I wanted to just buy them and put them on here just to see what they would look like. I kind of don't really like the bottom, this part, just because it wraps around it. It doesn't really look that great. It makes it look like a smiley face. So. <laughs> It makes it look, look a little goofy. I like these just because uh, you know, they, I think they look cool. So I did an Instagram post asking you guys, showing you what this looks like, asking you guys, do you like it? Should, do you think I should leave it? Do you think I should uh, take it off? And that one got a mixed, you know, a couple mixed reviews. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I also did an Instagram post uh, showing you guys the, the four LED lights on the front, asking you guys, do you think that looks cool? Do you think it looks goofy? Personally, I think the two on the outside look a little goofy, and most of you guys agreed with me. The two on the outside just looks a little off, doesn't, doesn't really uh, add to anything, and, you know, three LED, or two front and one light bar is going to be plenty of, <laughs> plenty light, you know, bright enough. So I'm going to be taking the, uh, the two LED lights on the front, on the outside, taking those off, and... I'm probably going to be taking this off just because I really don't like it. The only way I was able to add this on here, because this is round tubing, and because it, it has this huge dent right in the middle from when I hit uh, Quad Racer's van, my bad, uh, I had to take this uh, metal strip and wrap it around and weld it on there. So it just, it's really janky how I had to do it, so I'm going to be taking it off and leaving on these. So yeah, let's uh, finalize the wiring and finally focus on seeing if I finally fixed the engine.
Now the real test, will it run for more than five minutes? That is the real test. Otherwise, this engine's gone, and I just did three days of wiring for nothing. So, let's test that. Unfortunately, it's raining right now, so I may have to wait till tomorrow. Otherwise, this thing's gonna get real muddy, so. Which is not that big a deal, but I, I just cleaned everything up, so. Oh, it sounds good. Let's, uh, let's test the compression right now. That's one thing we can do. Let's, 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 let's test the compression. Alright, so I did a compression test yesterday. I forgot to film it, but whatever. And, um, it's better than what it was. I believe last time I did a compression test before I put the new pistons and new pistons rings in there, I believe it was somewhere between like 90 PSI, which is incredibly bad for this engine. And now it's up to 120, which is better than what it was, but it's still not what this engine needs. I looked at the manual and I found that this engine needs to be between 144 and 199. Somewhere between there is the optimal range of what the PSI should be for this engine. And mine being at 120 PSI, it's not what it should be, but it's at least better. Yesterday I did take this for a drive. Forgot to film it, but uh, I'll film it again. And it did run for more than five minutes, so it seems like I finally fixed the issue of it not wanting to run for more than five minutes. I knew it had something to do with compression. You guys kept saying it was a wiring. I didn't think so just because it still got a spark when it was dead. So it, I knew it had something to do with compression, and it seems to be running a whole lot better now. It's, it's still not what it should be, but it at least sounds better, it starts better, and it has more power. So yeah, let's see what this thing finally does. So it runs a whole lot better than it used to. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better and it's finally, finally running for more than five minutes. So I fi finally fixed that problem. Um, it's still not what it should be. If I wanted to make it, you know, get it up to the PSI that it should be, I probably need to replace the valves or just replace the whole top end with the valves and the cams, all that kind of stuff. Replace all that, and that would probably make it have more power and run a lot better, but I may do that, I may not, I don't know yet. But next thing to do with this thing is to paint this uh, go-kart and finally finish this thing. I already chose a color, I'm going with orange and black. All the parts that can be bolted off of this frame, are I'm going to be painting black, and the rest of the frame is going to be orange. So. Uh, yeah, that's the next video of this project. Um, I got to show you a little bit of driving around and you know showing you the new gearing. It has a ton, a ton more power. Yes, it is a, a lot slower than what it used to be. I never really found out the top speed of what this used to be with the old gearing, the old tires, but now 
it's kind of really on the slower side. Um, in sixth gear, if you floor it, this thing could probably top out at like 35 miles an hour, something like that. But um, definitely on the slower side, which I knew. I knew that you know the new the gear change, what I you know the, the giant 62 sprocket was going to make it slower. But I wanted to make it have more power, which it does. It has a a lot more power and it's a lot more drivable off-road now. So um, now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me the tires that I used for this go-kart plus the rims, the hubs, the bearings, and other stuff I haven't put on here yet. I'll be posting links in the description below to the parts I used in this video. Plus I'm going to be posting links to the lights, the LED lights, the light bar, the uh, the sprocket, the uh, the chain, all that kind of stuff, everything that I bought online. We be posting links to that stuff in the description below. Go check all that out. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I have a link in the description below to that. I try to use my Instagram account as a behind the scenes of, you know, what I'm doing to just to kind of, you know, have a little bit more extra content showing you guys, you know, stuff that I'm doing, how I'm doing it, you know, as I'm going along, just to give you guys an idea how long this stuff actually takes and give you guys a look at behind the scenes of how I do this stuff. So I try to use my Instagram account for all that and uh, you know I'm trying my best with uh, uploading more on that stuff. But I don't want to do like too much stuff to where I spoil other stuff to where you don't want to watch the video because you already know how it turns out or stuff like that. I try to do just you know minimal stuff but show you some. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm really bad at that. Uh, yeah, so I gotta end the video here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day.